Let me set the stage for you guys real quick. Past few years of Madden, I've been definitely, you know, struggling. I'll keep it a buck. I've been mid. See right here, Madden 23, I was ranked the 24th best player. And honestly, I don't think I was, you know, even up there. I was only given that rank because of accolades and achievements and the hard work I put in the previous Maddens. Even going into this year, I was first term of the year, I struggled. I got 43rd on the ladders and I didn't even make day two. But as the year progressed and I got better and better, started gain momentum. I started to find my stride. I made a nice couple runs, ultimately leading us to here and today. Final MCS tournament of the year for a lot of people. If I make this live event, if I'm able to win four straight Madden matches, I'm able to make the Madden Bowl. You guys know how important the Madden Bowl is to a lot of competitors, the brand, the money. Just ultimately, you wanna make that final tournament of the year. Let's see if I could do it today in these upcoming videos. Follow me along on this journey and let's see if I could get back on track. Guys, this is the biggest game in my Madden 24 season. I need to win this game to get into the Madden Bowl to make the uh, next live event. A lot of money on the line. I'm playing a very elite player who's already made an event this year, TJ. He's going to be running Jets playbook on offense and on defense, 6-1 dollar. You guys know how the meta is on defense currently. Let's see if I can lock in, get to my old self, and win this winning get in. Most important game of the year, like I just said. Let's roll the tape. Here we go, guys. Like I said, most important game of the year, winning get in versus TJ. He's made a live event. He's made a finals already, and he's going to be home. That's a very important thing. We're going to be kicking the ball off. He's the Niners. I'm the Raiders. You know, this is kind of like a... It's funny, you know, Raiders versus Niners fans always got beef, but uh, I don't know if he's a Niners fan. As there goes Todd Gurley, I believe he had like that zero chill theme team. We're going to be in nickel normal first play of the game. And right there, nice little high ball to Larry Fitz. Somehow he doesn't get his feet inbounds. Actually, it was third down. So I somehow, um, you know, got a stop on the first down. He probably ran the ball. Second down, he had that incompletion. Third down, he messes up. Uh, he actually dots me up. As there goes Shannon Sharp on flood, man. I'm running this nickel normal. I was told, you know, this is really good Jets D. I ran this versus Go Geezy, and he ran Jets in the round two matchup. If you haven't gone and watched that, go check it out. Actually ended up helping me get a stop and win the game versus Go Geezy. And, you know, obviously here we are. But, you know, TJ's a little different. He's got some nice reads. He plays at a slow pace. He reminds me a lot of Skimbo, you know. Um, not in the sense of, you know, how they play, but more of like slow, methodical, makes really good reads. It's right here. We're going to hit Julio Jones, cover three beater, get out, get out, get out. And we are able to, are we going to get out? Are we going to get out? I was literally huffing and puffing, like doing the civil where I breathe on the, you know, monitor to get into that end zone with Julio Jones. 75 plus yard touchdown with Julio Jones on that wide trail. Amazing cover three beater. If you set it up the way I did, if you want to watch that back, Go ahead, steal the setup, man. It's amazing. Bunch nasty cover three beater. As right here, like I said, we're back on offense, or back on defense, trying to get a stop, man. We're just, you know, playing bend, don't break defense in this nickel normal, nickel over, they call it now. I see right here, we're going to get a little pressure. Lamar Jackson is not able to get the ball out. Right here, we're going to play coverage. Honestly, pretty good user, pretty good defense, except for the fact that I let Shannon Sharp beat me over the top. If I had a deep half, amazing defense, but I use those safety NB adjustments safety thirds and honestly I, I messed up a few times doing that it's right here i try to do it again you see i'm doing this cross third and i'm not gonna lie it's not a bad adjustment but flood is way too good man this play is very underutilized if you run jets if you play against jets you know how good that play is man let me know in the comments what playbook you guys are running at the current moment in time um i mean jets is by far one of the best playbooks in the game that bunch strong that um you know name it man you name it there's so much out of jets it's right here very piss poor defense i gotta you know run like some vert hooks right there cover two shell i had no hooks on the field it made it way too easy for him to score so off to a banging start man 21 points within the first three minutes of gameplay man this is what you want to see as right here this is what you don't want to see late read i had it for a split second i'm gonna rewind it real quick as right there, Mike Evans is going to take it to the 30. But like I said, man, I had it right here in this pocket, in this window. He has no zone KO on Kyle Hamilton right here. Pacheco, I believe this is right here, is super slow. He's not going to be able to catch me. And also, he doesn't have any range. He's, you know, uh, what, 5'11", five 5'10". Foot five foot so I got to throw it there. I throw it a little too late. Bad pass lead. And Mike Evans, like I said, with that range, he's actually the one that comes over from that um, safety spot. I want to save the free safety spot. 
um, cross third and ends up picking me off. So I was very devastated at that point. I'm like, all right, bro, here we go again, man. You know, just mental mistake after mental mistake, just doing just a terrible read. And it really go, comes down to the fact that this guy's almost unstoppable on offense, man. I knew coming into this game that I was going to have trouble getting a stop, man. It's just super hard to stop these guys in Jets. I'm not really that good versus the high pace, high power. Um, you know, if I had a shell, if I had something I liked running, maybe. But the fact of the matter is, I don't, I'm in nickel normal, man. For my most important game of the year, I'm in nickel normal. Honestly, hindsight, I probably should have just ran dollar. I actually have an elite dollar in my opinion. I know how to mix it up pretty well, but it's just when you're not getting sheds, when you're not getting that A gap, it is very hard to run. Um, but thankfully for us, you know, Peyton Hillis somehow does not get in there, man. I don't know how. And we hold him to three. So we're still in this game. We're still fighting. We're still kicking. Plenty of game left in this. As right here, Todd Gurley, nice little juke, man. This is a card I miss using, man. Todd Gurley, uh, we're going to try to get him the ball. We're trying to get him the ball in spaces. Right there, Larry Fitz is out of there. Um, we don't end up scoring, but, you know, honestly, I have pretty bad stick work. I should have just kept running straight, and I might have made something shake. Um, right here, we're playing elite offense, man. I'm telling you, at this time and moment, I was very, very good on both sides of the ball. Not necessarily defense versus Jets, but on offense, man. It really comes down to uh, Lamar Jackson. Big trust Lamar Jackson was getting it done for us. The running gun ability was fire. Right here, we're just calling the best plays in the best situations. But the thing is, we're in kind of a shitty spot now. We can't really chew clock. He's going to get the ball back no matter what. And you know how uh, you know potent the red zone is, man. If you're not getting sevens, you know, it is, it's tough. It's right here. What am I going to do? I end up taking off with Lamar, bro. And you see me, bro. I'm cringing, bro. Even watching this back because I haven't really watched this back. I'm going to rewind it. We have this guy wide open. What am I doing? I could even take off for like two yards and outrun Fred Warner to this side right here. You know, bounce it out here. But instead, I took the worst approach, the worst thing ever. And honestly, it could have worked, except I run right into the dude. I mean, bro. I'm just still trying to process what I did because I completely forgot about this play. Uh, one of the worst plays you'll see all year from me, from, you know, a bot, from anyone is this right here. And, you know, what's crazy is we actually end up making it work and we get tackled by Fred Warner. I'm not even going to say, oh, I got unlucky, I got, you know, cheated, this and a third. The matter of the fact is that was a completely ass play, like a terrible play. Um, I, you know what, what it was is I was just not aware. Like I was just not ready. You know, sometimes on those RPOs, sometimes like you, you forget to hold a for even like you, you miss time it for one second and you're going to take off with a QB. That's what ended up happening to me. And you guys see it, man. So like I said, a lot of mental mistakes in these high stakes games, you got to really be calm and Zen when you play It's right here. We're getting kind of lucky, you know? Um, he had a, I, I want to say two or three overthrows on this drive. Um, and I'm not gonna lie. I didn't play defense one time. It's right here. Um, we're going to get a KO. You know, that was wide open. What is this defense? I don't know, but thankfully he holds the ball long enough and the deep out zone KO comes in clutch. So, you know, that, that fumble was extremely bad. Um, it's point shaving to pretty much. It's like when I bet on a team in the NFL and I need, uh, you know, let's say, I don't even know, uh, uh, Tony Pollard's props or McCaffrey prop yards, and they do that. So that's pretty much what I did. I point shaped, but it's all good. We're back in the game. Kronk catches it. The zone KO lights up, but we all know that animation. We love it so much. And when we're on offense, we hate it when we're on defense. And, you know, we're back in this game somehow, some way. So I don't know how you guys want to look at it. I don't know if I should be up 21-17 right now. I don't know if, you know, I, since I got that stop, it should be... 14 17 i don't know how it works guys let me know what your thought process is because obviously i fumbled and you know i did the dumbest play ever but w would it change his you know thought process his mind you know of uh, uh state of mind of playing would he have clocked me would he have gone seven on that drive so i don't know like obviously it's a butterfly effect everything happens for a reason in these games but i don't know how to view this game right now obviously we got to get a stop it's right here mike evans thank god uh, i've started tweaking out man i started tweaking out i had these safety thirds on i completely tweak out man uh, this is gonna be a very rough sequence of events to watch it's right here he throws a drag gets to the sideline and right here bro I i'll tell you what happened i'll tell you what happened is right here like i said i, I dodged a bullet that first time but the second time man, the elite player is not gonna let you live um i'm gonna tell you what happened so right here uh let's see what defense was i in i'm sorry for the you know rewinding but i have to tell you so this looks like what dollar um 
or what is this even uh, this is dollar right i don't know how josh allen's in this area right here this might be i don't even know what defense this is i'll be completely honest i don't know how josh allen is out there i wanted to put him in a third because with the safety mb sometimes you could put him in a third i guess it didn't work out i don't know what 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 that was or what defense this is uh, but you know obviously you guys see the result this is the biggest play of the game so far i had the biggest brain fart ever and it really i really wanted to call a timeout but i didn't have a timeout so this is very tough to watch um and just witness that like rewind it because at the time i'm like bro what did i just do i'm pretty much being like the worst player you could be in an important game like this i'm not even playing bad you know i had one bad read and you know that was kind of because i had you know a little bit of nerves on me but besides that i'm really not playing that bad i'm playing decent game managing football i'm just making the dumbest plays in the biggest moments and you know we got to fight back it's all good the bell you know the fat lady hasn't sung yet um we have plenty of ball we have tight end apprentice we have lamar jackson running gun we're cooking up man like we're not playing bad offense we're making good reads late we didn't get our feet in bounds right there unfortunately that would have helped quite a bit but you know he's not the best on defense you, we have things open man he, he i'm definitely getting the quick hikes out on him his zone drops aren't set i'm making nice reads uh, at the right moment it's right here boom once again making a right nice read um and we're cooking up you know it's not like offense is very hard in this game but in these moments and the situations you kind of could sometimes tense up but right here we're we're delivering we're striking we're 9 of 11 200 yards Right here, I don't know what play this was. I think a trips tight end run. You know, in Eagles, you have the two trips. That was the trips with the running back on the wide receiver side. Right here, tight end corner out. Gronk, man, I miss that dude. We need a new Gronk with a Vanguard upgrade. That Vanguard is insane. I know you guys remember that. And right here, pretty much, I'll be, I'll be honest. I have no passing plays unless it's third or fourth down. I'm really just going to run the ball or throw RPOs until I get into the end zone. Thankfully for me, he didn't know how to defend those RPOs. You got to remember, this was a little while back, guys. A lot of people didn't really know how many RPOs Eagles has. Eagles, if you love to run bunch and you want to run the ball and you know slow the game down, run Eagles. It has RPOs. It has all these things. Right here, we get some insane pressure. But I just kept letting him throw this zig route to the, uh, the, the slot corner. At this point in time, I should have just got out of the nickel normal. It wasn't working clearly. Um, I don't know why I'm continuing to run it. I like like look everything is open bro this isn't me you know i don't like i just hate looking at this and seeing like all the amount of free easy reads he has it's right here and corner out you know the jets playbook man it's just filled with so many things and the crazy part is i usually like i at the beginning i i thought i had pretty good jets d i don't know what has happened late people have just found better route combos people have realized what they can and can't throw um as that's how happens as the year progresses it's right here we have life we have life for someone that can't really get a stop we are damn sure playing good red zone d that's what you have to do man if there's if there's games where you just can't get a stop you gotta play the best red zone d of your life you know you gotta just sit up in the chair ten tenfold when they get in the red zone man and believe it or not we're in a spot for a money drive so i mean i don't know how we've gone here but we have we have to check on the kickoff i'm in this scenario like do i clock this or do i go for it we're gonna see off the first play First play, we lose two yards. We're going clock mode from, from what it looks like. Actually, I, end up, I think he called a timeout. Did he call a timeout? He actually called a timeout, which is crazy to me. He called a timeout with 445. I think maybe he got his adjustments messed up. I think I maybe quick hiked him. And I was about to quick hike him, and he called the timeout. It's right here. Larry Fitz can't hold on to us. Honestly, kind of better for us. Um, obviously, we want to convert. But, you know, we go back to the play. He just has not been able to stop make a decent read right there i'm not gonna lie my reads are pretty good on this play at least looking back on it because you know at this current time of moment i haven't really been playing and um my reads have not been so good and here we go man it's a fourth and five we got to come through very risky throw larry fitz comes through i'm gonna rewind this real quick guys and show you guys the play art or not the play art i'm gonna show you guys what i saw uh, at least pre-play or post play so we're gonna do a streak tight end post uh solo side drag and a wheel route this wheel route if you've been playing the madden for the past two to three years you know how glitched it is this is going to be a cloud flat you could even throw this versus hard flats and last year you could throw an inverse man he's going to do a cloud flat here and this is going to be a clever three cloud safety third i want to say he sends the dogs he absolutely sends the dogs actually this might have been man i don't even know what this was over here um it was too early to say i instant threw it so this is some type of deep zone i want to say yeah there's no way this is man okay this is a deep zone safety third or just a half and he manned up i want to say r1 
or square. I don't know who he crossed, man. We had the drag open. This was honestly not a bad play setup, but the fact that I threw that is pretty insane, honestly. There's no way I'm able to throw that probably now, especially with people having flat zone out there with like, you know, one AP flat zone with the new AP updates. The faster corners and the faster safeties, you know, there's no way I'm probably able to throw that. Right here, nice, calm, collected read. Stay in bounds, like, I don't know, man. It was just so nervous playing in this scenario. That does not help. I'm not gonna lie. I had a lot of green grass going there. We're gonna rewind it. Look at the fluke, man. This isn't this isn't anyone's fault by my own. I threw it a second early. If you know how will rods in this game work, you know sometimes you, they just you just throw it a little early and Todd Gurley just gonna do that animation. But it's all good. We're gonna go back to Larry Fitz. That's another route that you sometimes overthrow, guys. If you run bunch, if you play Madden a lot uh, at a high level, you know how that works. And Larry Fitz. I'm going to need you to get an upgrade, Tog, because you're fighting your ass off for me right now. There's a Here's a player to remember, man. Look at this player right here, because he's going to come through later on in the game. David Boxari, bro. I don't know. Like, obviously, he has inside stuff for that 1 AP. That's why he's using it. He didn't even come in. He didn't even get touched that play. He just comes in free. Honestly, like I said, it's not the worst case scenario. We're in a clock situation. Just got to keep fighting. Got to keep cooking up. Right here, amazing dot. I want to run backwards to take more time off the clock. And it works perfectly, man. We're in this scenario. We're in this scenario. You can't stop the RPO. I'm going to need you to fight a little bit more, Larry Fitz, even though you've been fighting all tournament long. Keep fighting for your boy. Right here, cut back to the right. Todd Gurley's fighting for sure. Let's see if we could just, you know, we get a first down right here and the ball the ball game's in our hands. We get a, honestly, the ball is the, the ball is in our court right now, even as it is. Uh, I actually end up, let's, let, let me show you the play call right here. I'm going to pass and I'm like, you know what? I don't trust the pass. And you know what's going to happen here? I There's just so much going on right here. I audible to what I thought was going to be the RPO, but I actually put Dagger, which was a really elite play in the bunch strong nasty out of Eagles. Uh, you put this guy on, you know, crosser, blah, blah, blah. I actually audible that to that on an accident instead of the RPO. I took out my audible as the RPO. So we had to call a timeout. Timeout is pretty irrelevant right there. So we're going to go with this read option or inside zone. Easy first, right? Fourth and inches, dog. This is insane, bro. I have to show you guys this. I double team David Bakhtari. That's what they say stops the, you know, well, inside stuff. And he goes absolutely berserk. And he somehow makes the tackle, man, on a 96 speed player. So here we go, man. We let the clock drip. We honestly rushed ourselves. What I wanted to look for was this guy right here. Obviously, I should have known he was going to put a, a purple. And what we throw, that's a tough break, man. It's not even like I got unlucky. He bumps right there. And I just, I just, I, I messed the read. That's a $40,000 play and we mess up, man. Or whatever, however much money it was for. Like I said, we missed the read. What the read was, look at this guy right here. He's going to be wide open. I'm going to rewind it one more time. We're going to, we're going to miss this read right here. Boom. Throw it right in this window. I don't have gift wrapped. I don't play with gift wraps. Pretty crazy to say, honestly. Um, at least in this time and moment, I, I really loved using Lamar with the running gun and the one slot apprentice. I, I don't even know what I had. I think it was slot apprentice, and then I had a tight end apprentice. But I don't. Right here, we missed the read. We had it. We had to be very precise with it. If we're gonna call a play like that, we need to be precise. He runs cover four. I want to say it was match and Sherman bags for the game. So that's gonna be it. Win and get in, super close. That's all you can ask for, man, is for the ability to compete at a high level. I'm still, you know, thankfully, I still got the fingers. I still got them, you know, my mental capacity. I just been like, you know, doing dumb shit. Sometimes I, I like, I go a little dumb mode, um, but it is what it is. It happens to everyone. I was very tense in this game, very nervous, um, as, as I should have been, you know, there's a lot of money on the line. We unfortunately are not able to get it done. Um, hopefully you enjoy this series, you know, four games and hopefully you watch all four of the games. There's a lot of insight on it. Um, and you know, it's just the highest of levels. This is a winning get in game versus TJ, you know, and if you've been watching MCS lately, you've seen that he's been popping. He's him, you know, he's him. So shout out to TJ. He's beat me a few times in very important games this year, ladders, MCS, you know, um, online tournaments, shout out to him. He's got, you know, a very bright future as for me. I'm not, you know, at the time of the moment, I was very, I was hurting tremendously, but you know, now I'm, you know, chill. It's been some time. Um, I'm taking the loss well, I guess, as you could say. So, you know, I'm going to keep doing content, hopefully keep playing in these high stakes games because I love the adrenaline. I love the motivation. I love the feeling you get when you're like, 
All right, man, we gotta lock in. I don't know how we're gonna get it done. Let's get it done. And we almost did it, man. Uh, as for now, I'm gonna do some live comms. I got like two or three more post comms coming. Uh, but for the rest of the videos, they're gonna be strictly taken from my twitch.tv um, channel, uh, twitch.tv backslash Pavin Lakot. And they're gonna be live comms. So I'm done rambling. I'll let you get on with your day. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video, and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.